Hey guys, uh, welcome to Geekdom. Um, yeah, I know it's been a while. And I know I said I was going to edit things, and I know I said I was going to plan out my videos better. But I have some free time right now between classes, and by free time I mean like 20 minutes. So I thought I'd just make a quick video about how I'm angry at the world. Not really what it's about, but... And I didn't plan it, I was gonna, but I just don't have time, or patience, or whatever. Um, this video's not gonna be geek related, so I'm gonna get back to those, my friend's gonna help me with them. Um, but anyway, this one's about college. Yes, yeah, another college one, I think this is like my third college video. But, uh, I just wanna talk about how like, hypocritical it can be and how pointless it can be and how much it pisses me off sometimes so if, if you're like a junior or a senior in high school or even just a sophomore pay attention I thought that I knew what I wanted to do with my life because of TV it's probably like a bad idea like I thought I wanted to be a, a criminal profiler with um, the the BIU, the FBI. Um, if you've ever seen the show Criminal Minds, yeah, that's what I wanted to do. And it's a pretty awesome job. But the odds of me going there and becoming one are pretty low, I think. But here I am at an expensive college that I won't name. Um, but it's about 50 grand a year. And that's insane, but it's got a really good forensic and uh, criminal justice um, setup. So I th thought, you know, this is going to be an awesome college, and I got some scholarships. Again, I won't say how much, that'd be me bragging. Mm -hmm. um, so I thought, you know, I can do this. This is going to be awesome. But now, um,. Turns out it's, it's just too much money, so I'm gonna have to, uh, probably gonna have to leave, which sucks because I've kind of made a life here, but I made a pros and cons list, which I will get out as I keep talking, because it's a good idea. Um, no, actually I can't keep talking because then I can't think about where the thing is. Um, to my backpack. So anyway, I'm going to instead, hopefully, go to a school in the next state over in Rhode Island, which is where I'm from, um, and go to my backup school, which, uh, when I got into it, it was, I think, $12,000, and then I got a scholarship, so it would only be $4,000. So I could literally go there for 10 years using the money from here. One year going where I am now could give me 10 years there if I got the same scholarship. It's insane. Oh, my roommate's back. Hi. Hi. You see nothing. Don't judge me. What are you doing? Making a video. Of? Me? Okay. I haven't made one in a while. Okay. People got mad at me. See, now I have to stop because you're here. Oh, well, don't stop on my account. Oh, I have to stop on your account. <laughs> anyway, um, I had to rewatch what I recorded before to see what's going on now because it's been three hours. But anyway, um, Getting out the pros cons list again. So I was uh, I was uh, saying this college is too expensive and uh, stuff, and it just goes to show how hyper uh, hippo. I want to say hypercritical. It's not a word. Hypocritical. Um, this society is because I'm a psych major. Um, 
if you look at it from a structural functionalist point of view, school is um, just another function, another part of society that helps society function. You know, you have the family, and you have um, schools, education, college, whatever. You have, you know, jobs, the workplace. They're all cogs in the machine that help society function. Society is the machine. Um, yeah, that's my explanation of that. Um, but, you know, our entire lives, they tell us, you can be anything you want to be. You can do anything you want to do. And then once you hit high school, you learn that's not quite true. Because some of the things that you wanted to do aren't quite as realistic as you thought they were when you were kids. So you have to change your entire view of the world to and what you want to do to fit this kind of norm of society. So like, even though what I really love to do is write, I also can't, can't see a, I'm not a very positive person, can't see a future for myself in writing no matter how good I am, I'm not saying that I'm good, but even if I was really good, you know, there's always that chance that something's gonna go wrong and I need money to live off of. But then, if I go to school, that costs money. Then when I get out of school, there's no guarantee that I'll get a job, so then I'll be in debt. And then, I need money to live, so then I need to get a job. And then sometimes the job that you would want needs more education, so you gotta spend more money to get more money, and it's just this vicious circle. And school's just a part of that. So here's my, that didn't come out as well as I thought it would, but here's my pros and cons list of leaving the college I'm at. Uh, pros, I'd be closer to home. I could room with two of my friends, two, of my best, two out of my three best friends that go to the school I'm gonna go to, hopefully. Um, one of them goes to a different school because she's smart. Uh, smart her. Okay, she goes to architect stuff. She has to go to a special school. Um, three, save tons of money. Four, I can go home more often because it's only like 45 miles away from my house instead of two and a half hours. Um, five, I can go to this place called Federal Hill more often, which is awesome. It's in Providence, Rhode Island. It's like, if you have like a little Italy near where you are, it's like that. It's awesome. I love it. Since I'm half Italian, I love it. Um, I think I could get more help with my schoolwork because I don't. I know more people. Uh, seven. I could start some clubs there that they don't have here where I am because I'm at like a private um, university right now, and that's public, so they don't have like you know the same kind of funding. So the clubs that I'm in here are all awesome, and the clubs that they don't they have there don't exist. Um, so I do that. Um, which would be awesome because I'd get to be the head of them. Um, I don't have, they're not actually numbered, so I forgot what number. I think it's eight. I can go to the movies with my friends. I haven't even been off campus here because I'm shy and stuff. You can tell, right? Um, and uh, nine, I could have a more suitable major, which would be an English major kind of thing, which I'll talk about later as well. And then the cons, I would be leaving my awesome clubs. I'd be leaving my new friends, my new acquaintances, whatever. Um, Three, I wouldn't have this awesome class that I was planning to, to take next semester if I switch out um, after this semester and don't get another semester. I wouldn't be able to take this awesome class about vampires. Awesome. Um, four would be a new environment again. I'm not good with new environments. It's hard enough to like make a life for myself here. Never mind having to do it somewhere else. Uh, five, I'd never get to stay at the awesome dorm they have for juniors and seniors, which is out my window, which I'm not going to show you, but it's awesome. Um, six, I wouldn't be able to go to the Hobbit Part 2 premiere with my sci-fi club. Um, uh, seven, I wouldn't be able to get the vice president of the sci-fi club, which is what I'm lined up for right now if I would stay. And seven, there would possibly be more, no more book club that I just started here, even though we haven't really gotten started. It's, it's, it's only like a subgroup of my sci-fi group. Which isn't my sci-fi group, but like the group I'm in. I started like a little book club to get people to read books and stuff that I think they should read. Just basically an excuse for me to pawn off my fandoms on people. Um, so that's all I got so far. I thought there would be a lot more things on the cons, and I know some of them seem silly to you, but they're a big deal to me. 
especially the new environment one. Like, I always had a nervous breakdown just coming here because no one I know goes here because it's really expensive and stuff. And, um, uh, stuff. Um, I'm not the kind of person who voices out their opinion. I mean, I can do it on camera because I'm not talking directly to people. I mean, technically I am, but I mean, like, face to face and stuff like that. Like, if I was, like, Skyping with someone talking to me like this, I'd be so shy and wouldn't know what to say, and it sucks. Um, but, um, so, like, I was, like, a loner, and I started getting into clubs, so I got more social with those people, but, like, I don't know anyone else outside of my, like, five clubs. Um, so if I switch universities, yes, hopefully I'd be at URI, but, um, which is the name of the college, kind of. Um, but... I would, thing is if I switched colleges, I would probably switch my major as well to something English related instead of my CJ, what I am now, I'm a forensic psych CJ major, um, so I'd probably switch to English, because thinking about it, I would rather be a writer, no matter how improbable it is that I ever make any money from it, which doesn't bode well for my future, I'm starting to ramble, I'm sorry, um, but I mean, I know a lot of people who are going through the same thing I am right now, like my roommate is. She's not here. Haha. -ha. Um, but, like, she's here from Texas. So, like, she's even farther from home than I am, and she's a lot more social than I am, so it's kind of different. But she's, like, we both agree this place is just, it's too much money. Like, I don't think, we, we always say you know you should go to college and college is awesome it's a good experience or whatever but like to get what you want to do like if you want a specialized uh major or future like forensic psychology it's not you know in every college you have to pay a lot of money to go to certain places and i mean ugh, it just sucks and that's really what it comes down to, just how much it sucks, like, that you have to spend money to have this future for yourself that you want, and most of the time it doesn't work out, because that's how capitalism works. Cogs in the machine. Yay, industrialization. I just want to go back to bartering, man. Screw money. Um. But yeah. That's all I got for now. I can't really think about it anymore. My head's gonna explode. So if you, what I'm trying to say here, I guess, besides all my ranting about my personal life, um, if you go somewhere, because this is mostly what I'm worried about. You go somewhere, and um, some are expensive, like where I am now, and then you start changing your mind. Don't think that you're just. Uh, ah, she's back!